Hey everyone, welcome back to Heartland Farms. Today I wanted to share with you an easy way to save cherry tomatoes. So cherry tomatoes, you can get a lot of them very, very quickly once they start to come in. And there's only so many times you can eat them raw in a salad, or you can eat them like in a dish cooked up. And then after a while, you just need a break. But what do you do with all these extra cherry tomatoes that are coming in? I wanna share with you how we save cherry tomatoes for winter. So our new favorite way is to dehydrate cherry tomatoes. We eat the ones we want and then the extra we dice up in half and we stick them in our dehydrator. So a step-by-step -step process is number one, you take your cherry tomatoes, rinse them off. In our case, since we don't spray in our garden, um, everything is very, very natural. Um, I'm really just spraying off the dirt. So I rinse off the dirt, I chop each tomato in half, I put skin side down on the bottom rack of the dehydrator. I used to cut these into thin slices, and honestly, I wasn't like, it would dehydrate too quickly and unevenly because the slices wouldn't be even. Additionally, um, they would stick to the pan and I couldn't like, I, it was hard getting them out and I wasn't getting much yield. A friend recommended to me, hey, just cut them in half. And since then putting that skin side down, I've been able to actually harvest a lot more cherry tomatoes. They dehydrate a lot, they dehydrate much e more evenly. So I really recommend doing it this way. After filling all the racks in my dehydrator, um, I will put them into the dehydrator and I have a very simple one. My dehydrator just says low, medium, high. I don't have one that has a specific temperature. I found a couple recipes, so check out the description link below if you want a specific temperature. Other than that, I put mine on medium. So if you have a very simple dehydrator like I do, I recommend just putting it on medium and running it for 24 hours. So basically you run it until they look very shriveled up inside themselves. And what each of these tomatoes are is like a packet of sweetness. So it's very concentrated. All the sweetness of that tomato is very concentrated in that little dehydrated packet. For preserving, originally I was doing one cup servings and putting them in food saver bags. I then freeze them all just because I wanna kill like in case a bug got in there or anything else. I just wanna make sure everything is killed. Um, so I put it all through the froze, like through the freezer. I also wanna make sure nothing like, in case one didn't dehydrate as much as the others, I don't want that one growing mold and infecting the other tomatoes. Technically with dehydrated food, you should they should be shelf sta stable. I'm always cautious and I'm like, you know what, just in case it didn't dehydrate enough, I'm gonna stick it in the freezer. There are gadgets you can buy to check the uh, moisture levels inside your food to make sure that it could be shelf stable. We don't have one of those, um, but we do have freezer space. So into the freezer they go. So what I've been doing is just a giant gallon bag. I add whatever I can into that gallon bag um, and then stick it, um, flatten it out as much as possible and stick it in the freezer as well. We'll just pull one cups from those gallon bags. So either or you can um, preserve them in whatever means you want that's, like, that's more efficient for your family. I do recommend small portions because that way you're not opening up the whole bag to waste it. The nice thing with these is that they shouldn't stick to one another so it'll be easy to kind of scoop out a cup at a time whenever we need one. But yeah, thank you for joining us. That's kind of wraps up how to dehydrate tomatoes. Hopefully you can give it a try and then enjoy some fresh tomatoes in the winter time as well. Till next time, take care, bye-bye.